Breaking a breakup on a massive scale to report tonight. The UK has voted to get out of the European Union in a referendum that's divided the country. The total number of votes cast in favour of leave was 82,000. Yeah! Victories for the Leave side played out right across Britain tonight. The results of the Brexit vote put the Leave side at 52%. The Remain side at 48% with the turnout across the UK sitting at 72%. CTV's London Bureau Chief Paul Workman has been watching this night and now early morning unfold. Paul, this yep. is such a seismic moment for the UK, but tell me what actually happens now that they have voted to leave the EU. Well, this is not at all the decision that most people expected, Lisa. So it now begins a, a, a jump into the unknown, if you like. David Cameron gambled that he could win this referendum. He did not. The Prime Minister, he will probably uh, address the nation tomorrow morning. He may trigger what's known as Article 50 here, which would launch two years of negotiations with the European Union to withdraw from uh, that union. David Cameron may very well announce his resignation tomorrow. So you're right, it is seismic. It, there are predictions that it will cause enormous turmoil inside the European Union itself. A lot of people in this country simply do not know what happens next. The uh, financial markets uh, have reacted with something close to panic. The pound is down to levels not seen since 1985. It's even expected that the Bank of England may intervene in the economy tomorrow before the stock markets open. If the stock markets open, Lisa, they probably will, but that's what people are talking about. That's how grave this is here. Just a stunning outcome, uh, yet clearly a country divided right down the middle. Explain to us, Paul, what really did drive this vote? Well, in, in many ways, it was a protest vote. A lot of dissatisfaction, yes, with the government in power now, but with uh, 40 years of having to deal with the European Union. The Leave side spoke patriotically about taking back control of the country, and that really had an extraordinary effect on the population. You could see it in the last couple of weeks here that they were winning the campaign, that all of the scaremongering and fear tactics used by the Remain side about how the economy was going to be in terrible shape just didn't catch fire with the uh, electorate and it's shown here tonight the leave side pulling off really this shocking surprising win mm -hmm. okay so uh, Boris Johnson of course Nigel Farage on the leave side but 84 MPs write this letter to Cameron tonight saying it is your duty to remain so explain that to us well, a lot of these people believe that David Cameron is the person now who should carry on with these negotiations with the European Union. But he campaigned very strongly to stay. So how much confidence is there going to be in David Cameron to go to Brussels and now begin these very serious negotiations? It's a humiliation for David Cameron. He may now not want to take on that role, no matter how many members of his own party signed a letter today. Mm -hmm. Again, a seismic night in the UK and morning. Paul Workman, uh, for your reporting throughout the night. Thank you for this.